Happy Friday, East Texas. Outside, temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s across the region. Fairly mild, and that's one of the big reasons for that is because we've got a deck of cloud cover out there. Just like at night, when you get cool, you put a little blanket over you to help keep the temperature up. Same thing for us. We put the clouds out there. Helps to keep those temperatures up as well. A few spotty showers trying to sneak into our far southwestern counties from Crockett down towards Grapeland there, but that's really about all we have to talk about there in terms of rainfall. Here's what's going on. We've got a little battle going on here. This green shaded area is an area of humidity and moisture. That's where the moisture is. The tan shaded areas are the dry air. This big ridge of high pressure is trying to build in from the north and west, and you can see the northeasterly winds behind that area of high pressure ushering in some dry air. So as this rain tries to lift in the area, Poof, it's just drying up because it's running into that dry air. There is a surface cold front here that's making its way to the south as well. That's the leading edge of the drier, cooler air, and that will sneak its way into the area throughout today. So there is a very slight 20% chance or less of an isolated shower for our far south and western counties here. We're talking Palestine down to Crockett over towards Groveton, but that will be briefly this morning, and then we'll clear it out. Here's the cold front on Futurecast. Notice how it makes its way towards the south. It squashes the rainfall chances for us, and that trend will continue so that the afternoon, just a mix of sun and clouds, highs only in the mid-60s, will head down into the 40s tonight. And for your Saturday, a mixture of sun and clouds, highs back into the mid-60s. So a fairly decent weekend ahead. But we are tracking our next storm system here. It's now off towards the south and east of the Gulf of Alaska. This will arrive on Monday. And as it makes its way towards east Texas, breezy weather, clouds on the increase Sunday, showers and thunderstorms, some potentially strong to severe likely as we head into your Monday, and that will be followed by some much cooler air following that front for the middle and latter half of next week. But in between now and then, on Monday and the early Tuesday, hey, we could average around an inch of beneficial rainfall across the area, which will help with the burn bans and the very dry conditions out there. So the first front today is a very weak one, maybe an isolated spotty shower across the far south and southwest. Then we turn our attention to Monday, which has been deemed a first alert weather day, so be aware showers and storms could impact your plans on Monday and then heading into the middle of the work week, we cool it down. We also dry it out, so not too bad.